So, why are villains often shown laughing, while heroes are mostly shown to be quite serious? The trope of the villainous laugh used often in movies today is actually not new. The earliest evidence of the phrase evil laugh dates back to the 1860s, though the phrase wicked laugh can be seen as early as 1784, and the term sardonic laugh appears as early as 1714 and may have been used earlier. So, humans have for quite a while viewed laughter as somewhat evil or maniacal, but why? Especially when a child's laugh or Santa's ho 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 brings us so much joy. Hmm. Well, keeping in line with Ramachandran's theory of the false alarm theory of laughter, Laughter's role is to communicate that those things which had been considered consequential are, in fact, inconsequential. Cruella de Vil, for instance, does not laugh maniacally simply because she finds joy in the prospect of skinning her assistant's pups alive. Uh, human beings find intense joy in many things, but these things don't always trigger laughter. What are specific about the things that trigger laughter? Well, more than simply enjoying the act, Cruella de Vil, she finds this exchange humorous because she's aware that her assistant finds this to be extremely unpleasant or evil. But in Cruella's demonic, psychopathic mind, there's actually nothing wrong with killing pups. So she's suspended in this world where part of her is aware of the evil and wickedness of what she's doing, and in another world where it doesn't actually matter, like a tickle resulting in laughter. In an attempt to communicate her believed inconsequentiality of the dog's death, she laughs. Heroes, on the other hand, recognize the consequences of their actions. In fact, one key to the hero's journey, it could be argued, is taking responsibility for your actions so you can overcome your limitations. Of course, Cruella de Vil is not the only villain depicted as laughing. Here are some other villains with maniacal laughter. Uh, Jabba the Hutt, the end of the thriller music video, Mr. Burns, the witch in Snow White, Jack in The Shining, Freddy Krueger, and you can find more and more and more of these. So, it appears that in most films, evil characters laugh while serious heroes keep a straight face. But actually, there appears to be a divide between Easterners and Westerners on this particular issue. You see, in the West, gods and heroes are often seen to be quite serious, never shown to be laughing. But deities and heroes in the East, for instance, the Buddha, are often depicted as laughing. So perhaps this is an indication of a difference between Eastern and Western mentalities, the West valuing seriousness and the East valuing acceptance, play, recognizing that everything is, in the end, inconsequential. Most Western, modern, mainstream religions tend to preach that if you do not take this seriously, you will spend the rest of eternity in hellfire. So it does matter that we take this, these rules, seriously in this lifetime. Whereas in many Eastern practices, even though it's taught to take these things seriously in this game world we're playing in, it actually is important to recognize that these things truly don't matter, causing laughter.